How's everybody doing, guys? We are here, eGuiders Live. We have the guys from Indie.tv, the creators of Hollywood Bats. It is going to be crazy. It's going to blow your mind. We are going to learn a lot. We're going to have some fun. We're going to get crazy. Here we are, eGuiders Live. Let's do it. Look at that, 18. That's Chai. That's, uh, <laughs> that also means life in, in Hebrew. It's a very, very special, powerful number. And I'm so glad you guys are here to, to make it. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. Awesome. Thank you so much. So, who are you guys? What, what's going on? Introduce yourselves. What do you guys do? What, what's happening? Um, I'm Van Lathan. I'm one-fourth of Indie.TV. Whoop, whoop. I, I star in Hollywood Bats. Nice. Mm. And I'm Stephen Haynes, and I am one fourth of Hollywood Bats. We pretty much do everything. Our whole group uh -huh. act, produce, write. Well, mainly Van writes. He wrote this uh, pretty much the whole season. Mm -hmm. But now the rest of us are getting into it too. So you guys have a website in addition to your web series Hollywood Bats. Tell me a little bit. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The web series or the website? How did it come together? Uh, well, first off, uh, Hollywood Bats. It started as Van's idea about two years ago before we joined. Uh, and he tried to film a web series called Hollywood Bats. And how was that? Yeah. Come on, give me the straight dope. Okay. Uh, we, we initially, like last summer, we did Hollywood Bats. We were going to do it for uh, another medium. And even though there were a lot of talented people involved, the finished project, product was, let's say, less than stellar. And what was the medium? Origami? What, what, what was the... <laughs> no, we were going to go for Channel 101. And we were uh going -huh. to submit to Channel 101. Uh -huh. And at that point, uh, me and a friend of mine were doing a lot of stuff for Channel 101. And Channel 101? Channel 101. Yeah, you know the, uh -huh. yeah, the, the deal there. And so... You're well, just muddling it all together. I want to make sure we, I had it all right. Come on, man. Let's Come get, on, man. Get with my slang, baby. I'm going <laughs> I'm to I'm freshen it up for you guys today. Okay. Um, Drop it on me. Exactly. So it, the finished product ended up being not so good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when the indie TV thing got together, when we mm -hmm. came together last summer, it was already something that was prepackaged and ready to go. Didn't need any development, mm -hmm. didn't need anything. All the characters, the, the, the stories were all there. And so we decided that it would be the easiest thing to kind of start off the, uh, the production company with. Right. So, you start, so Indie.TV is a production company, a website to do multiple web series, other kinds of content, whether it be web is it other for other platforms as well, or just are you starting out with web content? Is the web the the space that you want to kind of take control of? Right. Well, it was Patrick's brainchild, and uh, Patrick Wong, our kind of managing director, sort mm -hmm. of got it, put us together, type of guru. Last summer, he had an idea to kind of make more accessible for for us to all kind of you know, take stuff and put it together and have more accessible type of content on the internet where yep. we felt like uh, there was some opportunity there and we got together as a group to kind of be our own little production deal and indie.tv yep. is the medium to host that beautiful mm -hmm. and so hollywood batch it started out as you kind of the, the first draft was kind of like almost like a uh, a, a technical run through or test a test drive yeah, <laughs> and, and to, to kind of serve as a roadmap for the next iteration of of the series. Right, Stephen, you, you saw it. What did you think? <laughs> uh, it was pretty amateurish, mm -hmm. um, and that's okay. But yeah, yeah that's fine. But uh, we saw promise in it for uh, what we did now, and is uh, mm -hmm. Batman's pretty known. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. People know Batman. I feel like people know him. And uh, we just thought it was a good idea. Uh, we had a million ideas in our group, what to do. And we were just like, we need to roll with something right now. Because we've been talking for about four months and we have nothing to show for it. So let's just... Stop this the is a talk and do it. Yeah. Mm. We just came, we changed the Batman's character around a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, what's the log line? So some people are here in Hollywood Bats. What's the one-liner that you would give somebody in how you would describe the show? I, uh, an odd couple comedy about Van... A black man and his roommate bats a black a Batman. That's what Okay, I, one more time. Let me That's Steven. That that Hollywood Bats is a web series about Van, a black man, and his roommate Bats. A Batman. That's beautiful. An odd couple comedy. Here, cheers. Yeah. Cheers. cheers to that. Down. Cheers. Sensational. Cheers. Beautiful. I'm into it. Oh, I got a drink. Oh, that vodka's strong. 
Yeah, it's good that's stuff. That's what we man. do. Yeah, great goose. That's what we do. That's four o'clock in the afternoon. Hell yeah. That's well, we it's, almost, it's almost four twenty. Oh, got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's yeah. play. Um, you know what? First, you know we're. So, I'm so rude. Mm-hmm. I didn't even say hi to Brian. Just started the show. Just kicked it off. I was so excited to have you guys here. Don't worry about it, Mark. Hey, Brian. Hey, how's it going? Where where are you today? Uh, Where am I? Where are you? I don't know. Uh, Here I am. In front of, this is Gotham City. Dude, you're in Gotham. Yeah, you know. That's awesome. It's like Cool World. Just hoping I don't run into any uh, trouble out here. Yeah. Well, you you look good. And uh, you're enjoying it in Gotham? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I just wanted to call in and make sure I thanked our sponsors. Fit Gravity live stream, Wirecast, and Blue Microphones. Blue Microphones. And you want to just talk nicely, right? About one to four inches into this bad boy. Oh, yeah. yeah you know, that's a that? sweet mm. spot. Dude. That's so sexy. It's mm. my go a different way, man. Mm-hmm. Stop with that. That's, <laughs> that's working me up. <laughs> well, have fun in in, uh, in Gotham there. Stay stay off the uh, the crack, okay, Brian? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Good. <laughs> so let's uh let's cue this up and uh we'll play the this uh this is episode three we're gonna Episode three. And uh do you, is is there any backstory that we need to know coming into this? Sure. Um episode one and episode two were basically about how we got to what the premise of the show is. Yeah. Episode one starts, I'm on a date, we get accosted, S A T word, and Batman jumps out, saves me, then tells me he's new in LA and he needs some place to stay. So in staying with me uh, is where we kind of get our comedy from. So by this point, he's been there, he's been fighting crime for a couple nights, and he comes back home and finds that we are in darkness. Okay, here we go. That was beautiful, by the way. Oh, thank you. I do what I can. I could never repay you, man. You saved my life. I need a base of operations. You need a place to crash. Stupid ass lights right there. <laughs> I saw you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I saw him. No, you didn't. Okay, you can cool it with the Jedi shit bats because I know what I saw and it was your face. You know who you look like? Are you Bruce Wayne, nigga? Man, I don't know who this Bruce Wayne is that you're referring to. Okay, I'll tell you who he is. Okay? He's the richest man on the planet. Owns a bunch of shit. Technology companies. Fucking bread companies. Fucking light companies. Man, listen to me. He took a bitch on a date to the moon. Built a space shuttle called the Wayne One, a cosmic yacht. Yacht's name's Betsy. What? No, Bruce. <laughs> what, Van, listen, I am not. It's incredibly attractive. Are you, are you improving here? Or no, is it all improv? Successful. All improv. Scripted, but we're improving. Yeah. Well endowed man, known as Bruce Wayne, Wayne that you refer to. You come in here, you with a hundred billion dollars, and I'm eating fucking stale Wonder Bread and salami. And what are you doing? Nothing. Let me starve. I'm poor, but I'm honest. I'm black, but I'm proud. I'm proud enough to tell you to get the fuck out of here. Don't come back, Bruce. Don't get tough. Just turn around and leave. That's mighty white of you, Bruce. That's mighty fucking white of you. <laughs> So he's been kicked out. I've had some rough roommate arguments too. Yeah. It's, 
tough, man. It's tough. You know, it's tough when you're a superhero to come back down to the normal. You know, he would he, fuck you up. He would have beat the piss out of me. Yeah, you know. You know. It's the kind of guy that you don't know that he's suffering from some pretty vicious post-traumatic stress syndrome. Yeah, man. He needs some therapy. He does. Is that going to happen in an upcoming episode? Oh, he uh, no, yeah. He has, no, he has no social skills, so with being with Van, he's going to learn right. to be... You're going to be a therapist. Exactly. The idea for the show came from the fact that when I was watching The Dark Knight, watching The Dark Knight, you're looking at it, and it seems so real, and it never pops into your mind that the cops are working with a guy in a fucking bat costume. And it's pretty, pretty ridiculous when you think about it. Like, well, how would that guy work in the real world if he thought just like that? Right. Well, the previous Batmans were... You see the nipples on those suits? Oh, I mean, geez, oh come on, man. This is rough. The kind of stuff you're looking for right there. That's oh, me. Oh, shit. This is my cameo. Is this your cameo? Yeah. What, bitch? Thank you. Crate this gun. I need you. Like all they were Imposters? Oh. You said you're on Hollywood. He's just there for the tourists, man. They throw him a couple dollars, he takes a picture with him, it's no big deal, bro. Crate this gun! Is that whole milk or skim milk? That's skim. I only do skim. Black man, lactose intolerant. Gotta do the skim milk. You know what? Get off this bat dick, okay? Not everybody was born on a yacht. He's just trying to make some money, all right? It's a pig What else would I do? Yeah, that's right. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Jim. Nice. Jim versus Batman. Wow. Epic. That's some shit right there, man. Epic stuff. I, 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 I'm impressed, you know, so I'm impressed that you haven't gotten a cease and desist order yet. So <laughs> having, <laughs> having gotten it. <laughs> so, so when you were doing this, was there any, you know, legal hurdles that you went through beforehand or you just said, fuck it, we're going to do this? This will be our interpretation of, of Batman, oh, and I don't give a fuck about that. The best thing that could happen is they could sue us. Yeah, you know, they if they if okay, you got deep pockets, right? Well, who me? Yeah, what are obviously. Take from us? Yeah, you know, what yeah. I mean, like like if if you know, it's Batman. We're 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 not using. We're not making any. Whose uh, apartment? Hundred, Whose apartment was that? It's Patrick's apartment. Damn, Patrick, that that looks like a shitty Hollywood apartment. <laughs> it is. Yeah, congratulations. So the the art decoration was awesome. Wasn't it though? Yeah, I like the po poster that you hung up all drunk, like on a yeah, halfway. Halfway. That's kid. how we get it in. That's some loud ass knuckle cracking just right there. Did you hear that? I thought that was like an earthquake. <laughs> it's like the structure's gonna come. We're gonna pancake. <laughs> Love it. So now, where? How many episodes are you guys gonna do? Do you have a, a season arc worked out? It looks like through the editing, it'd be about 12 episodes mm -hmm. this season. Mm -hmm. And uh, we ha haven't fin finished filming the last episode. Right. And are you doing them in chunks, or are you doing like one at a time? Or are you trying to like shoot It's all it? shot out. Yeah, yeah we, we already got it. We shot it out over the course of like, I think a week and a half back in late 09. And we have one more episode. We have Superman's episode to shoot. Mm -hmm. And we have another episode to shoot, which is the season finale of the show. Cool. Mm -hmm. so you Talking a little bit, you're falling out of frame. Oh, sorry. So and uh, so cool. So you shot it all, and uh, it's in the can. It's in the can. And uh, what were you using to shoot shoot uh, the videos on? Uh, the HVX, the HVX 200. Uh, EX1 EX with uh, Elitis adapter. Did we have? It wasn't the HVX. Extreme? Extreme? Oh, it was the EX1. I'm sorry. EX1 with the Elitis adapter 35. Mm -hmm. 35 millimeter lens. And. Uh, who was the D did you have a DP shooter? Who was the DP shooter? Uh, Christian no. and um, no Matt Four was Matt, the DP. Matt Four. And Matt then, Four was the DP. Christian directed. Now I'm gonna just turn this around for a second. This this uh, camera. We can see who who else is in the studio. Who who else is is in the studio right now? That is Patrick, the Asian. And 
and uh, Christian, the guy from Switzerland. Okay, so you you guys have a pretty uh, eclectic group. Yeah, eclectic group. You know, mm-hmm. it's uh, multicultural, right? Multilingual, and uh, <laughs> I, I want to show a little clip of episode one. It, it was probably my my favorite moment of uh, the date, and uh, I just thought we could play this for a minute and, and talk about it because I, I just think you know the inspiration of the Michael Mann characterization of, uh, of women is pretty brilliant. I'm glad you're <laughs> passing that forward. Uh, mm. So wh- where does that appear? The, where does it, is where, is where it right we, at the top? Or what are we talking about? Which, which, which moment? Episode one where, uh, you know, they're, they're fighting. Oh, that's right. That's the very beginning. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to play this. Just oh, look. Basketball. Oh, check that out. Yeah, we got the film at the Lakers game. It's the ESPN yeah. 3. So, have you guys gotten enough money to buy your first houses yet from this? From this house? First Ferrari, but not the right. first house. Right. Because the Ferrari's 200 grand, and in LA, the house is going to be like a mil. Yeah. Five. Just go with the Ferrari. Just go with the Ferrari for right now. So, yeah. You guys are smart. Who? You guys. You Are, are we? Yeah. I like to think we are. I went to college. <laughs> <laughs> University of Phoenix is pretty good. Yeah, it's awesome. In a row. Yeah, here we go. I don't understand you women. That was dumb. That was two hours of fucking stupid. All right? If they wanted to interweave something, they should have interwove some titties into that bitch. Entertainment factor goes right through the roof. We could have done something else. This is a great way to start here, this off. This is why you go to the movies on the first day. Okay, my dad. Brilliant man. Certified genius. He told me the movie's at seven. It was pussy at midnight. And that's you going to shirt. Now I believe in that. I really hope you believe in it too. She got it. Back up. That was a call for. Her. Okay. I got high blood pressure. You scared the shit out of me. Shut the fuck up. Empty your pocket. Just give me your wallet. Will both of y'all please let me catch my breath and think for a second? <laughs> this nigga appeared out of the motherfucking shadows, out of nowhere, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm having a panic attack. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You robbing us, man. Him in America. We got a black president and you robbing us. You heard him, baby. They give him everything you got. What? You're the man? What? I'm the man? So we gonna do this now? <laughs> Come on, hell. Trust me, Mark. You trying to die? That's all you got. That's all we got, man. I'm broke. Give me your gun. I don't see the gun. Nah, 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 nah. Thanks for letting me know. I don't, I don't see enough of that punk ass stalling. It's time to die. <sighs> all right, all right. Damn. Batman you were just a, you were just about to take. Uh, I, saw I was. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna pause it right here. So uh, what I love is you're just starting to like hide behind her right. at the very end. Right. So you know, at the end of this episode, you know, you'd think Batman was gonna kick your ass for you know for but for for being that type of guy. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you think that type of guy really uh, exists, or are you or, or what? <laughs> sure, he exists. Yeah. Yeah, he totally exists. Um. Uh, I'm not going to say that I was necessarily writing myself in that situation, but what I will say is that, like, there are crass guys everywhere, you know? Um, so you're like the black Larry David. Exactly. That's exactly who I am. You're the black Larry I'm David. I'm the black Larry you gotta David. You got to go run with that. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm the, that is the, I think, the single greatest compliment that anyone's ever given me right there. I'm the yeah. black Larry David. That's what yeah, I'm, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, uh, we live in a very PC world, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, that kind of gets pretty old after a while. What does? Uh, you know, just trying to say the right thing at the right place oh, at the right time. I don't care about that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about that. So, you know. I'm a six foot four black man trying to make it a white man's world, man. Fuck yeah. everything else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and especially your date here. I mean, you're, you're tr- trying to crawl behind this little petite thing. She's about five feet tall. Uh-huh. Uh, real talented actress named Jalene Goodwin. Spinner. I think so. <laughs> I wouldn't want to speak for it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she's a real, real, real talented girl. She was, she's actually done a lot 
I guess things that would be considered bigger than Hollywood bats, but she came in and was mm -hmm. a real trooper for us, even came to rehearsals and stuff. Our cast overall was really great and really into what I consider to be some lowbrow sophomore comedy at yeah. times. Yeah. But they, for some reason, uh, the Brom Gallagher, who plays Batman, yeah. really got in a really great groove with the character. Yeah. So, you know. It's just, He's great. We, we were, yeah, he is. He really, he really is really good as Batman. So we were blessed to have like a, a real good cast that come in and, you know, blessed by the comedy gods or whatever. So yep. it's good stuff. And so do you have a larger role throughout the rest of the season or, or do you just play the imposter Batman? I'm guest starring, but he might have a bigger part in season two. Mm -hmm. uh, I play Hollywood Batman, uh, uh -huh. Hollywood, the Hollywood Strip. Yeah. Uh, have you ever met that guy out on Hollywood Strip? I've seen him. Oh, yeah. He's I like it when he fights with Spider-Man for their uh, block that's, rights. Oh, you know. <laughs> that <laughs> scene, we were so worried we were going to run into them because they are a rough group of characters. Yeah. Spider-Man, SpongeBob, yeah. and Batman. They will kick your ass for being on their turf. I have real. some awesome footage of SpongeBob, actually. You didn't have it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember from Not Another Twitter conference? He just slides into Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frame. I do remember that. Yeah, that was that good. is some good stuff. Hey, yeah. uh, Steven, somebody in the chat, I don't know who Tyler is, but they want to know, is there any chance you're going to play The Flash? Next season. The Flash? Yeah. They want you to play mm -hmm. The Flash. Tyler mm -hmm. wants you to play The Flash. Uh, no, I Leave him hanging. don't know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Tyler, there's always a shot. <laughs> Anybody else? Any other questions going on in there? Uh, that was the only one. Um, take off his shirt I think again? Tyler why, why also, wanted, Tyler to, also wanted to know why you cut your hair. It's summertime, man. I had, <laughs> I had really long hair. I was looking How like long? a damn hippie. How long? I uh, like... I don't know, really shaggy. Mullet? Pretty close, Ooh, yeah. Damn. I'm into it. You're in the mullets? Yeah, big time. Cool. Billy cool. Ray Cyrus. So what do you guys watch here online? What, what what kind of things do you look at for inspiration? Oh, man, I, I love web series. Uh, Odd Jobs. Um, the West Redleaf. Side, which Jeremy. I wish they kept doing. Uh -huh. Have you seen The West Side? It's like an urban western in New York. Yeah, did we? it was only four episodes, but I don't know. I was so impressed. They made New York look like a desolate wasteland of a town. With that's uh, great. Yeah, it was fantastic. And uh, the, another favorite the show of mine is uh, uh, I am not infected because I'm a big zombie genre zombie freak. Guy? So yeah, that's a good one. Uh huh. Is that on, what site is that on? Just I am not infected. I am not infected. dot com or we are not infected. dot com. It's one of the. It's one of those. I'm not infected or we are not infected. Yeah. Mm hmm. And uh, for you, and anything that you're looking at that, that you like? Uh, I'd say like bangbrothers.com, all uh -huh, that stuff. That's good. Uh, shaking it. That's com. interracial. This is it interracial, which is the finest uh, assortment of booty shaking videos, uh -huh. YouTube, booty, YouTube booty shaking videos that you can find uh -huh. in one place. They have, uh, good, they have good DPs on those. Oh, absolutely. I think and not director lines. of photography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, stuff like that, mostly, but mostly, mostly when I'm on the internet, that's what I do. I do <laughs> porn. Uh -huh. <laughs> my my computer is a thousand dollar pornographic machine. And is there a certain like genre of, or fetish that you're into? I'll tell you what my fetish is. I'm from the south, uh -huh. what so are your into? ass can't get big enough for me. Uh -huh. You can you can you can top out at one seventy five if the gut is smaller than the butt. I'm all about it. My gut is small. Mm -hmm. So, what is the specific definition of badonka donk? Okay. All right. There are a lot of different definitions. Mm -hmm. But the main definition of a badonka donk, number one, you know it when you see it, right? Right, badonka. Because, because you see it, it's going to, first of all, there's a certain shape. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about different asses here. Yeah. Now, if you look at Beyonce, a lot of people would think that Beyonce has like a big ass. What Beyonce really has is nice big thighs and the illusion of an ass. Right. Okay? All right, powerful legs. All right. Thighs like a right. thoroughbred. Right. What a badonka donk would do is it will make the shape like that. It'll go boom and it'll go bam. So it sits up. Like if the girl's right here and you know you need some place to sit this, you take this cup, you sit it right there. Kim Kardashian. Like, bam. That's a badonka donk. Okay. okay. Melissa Ford, do you know her? Uh-uh. I'll send you some shit. Okay. That's a badonka donk. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Other chicks, they kinda sorta I mean the real badonka donks, you wouldn't really know them because they're not allowed in Hollywood. Jennifer Lopez almost had a badonka donk, uh -huh. then came back to regular donk. And after her career is over, she will probably have badonka donk status again when she's about 46 and she no longer gives a fuck about fitness. Right, right. Okay, right. cool. So those are the things I look at for inspiration because I just want I just want to become like rich and famous so all the girls with huge asses will love me forever. Yeah. Man, I, those are some great goals. That's what it's that, all about, bro. And yep. perfect logic. Right. It's so logical. Mm-hmm.
right? Don't you think, Brian? Yeah, it's awesome. How are you doing over there in Gotham? What's going on? Uh, not too much. Pretty, uh, pretty good over here. Yeah, what's Can't going on? Can't even find myself. I'm right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Batman, it's Batman, here, right Whoa. there. Uh oh. He, he can't. You're ducking and weaving. Yeah, ducking and weaving. Ducking and weaving. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Well, you, you, like I said, man, stay, stay out, of, stay out of trouble there. Yeah, I'll be fine. So uh, I'd like to thank our sponsors one more time: uh, Bit Gravity, Blue Microphones, Livestream, and Wirecast for our switching software. And you guys have been great. You're welcome on the show anytime. You have any other future projects you want to talk about? Any announcements? Anything else that you guys are working on? Besides we Banger Bros a, or anything? We have a couple more, but uh, there's so in pre-production that they'll mm-hmm. probably change. So uh, and and I don't want to give them away. Do you have any questions? Gold. No, and just where can people go to find yeah, Hollywood can, Bats? Uh, go to www.indii.tv. That's indie, like the we, you know. And what does <laughs> www. stand for? World Wide Web. Oh. <laughs> is that the information superhighway? Yeah, I think remember? it is. Al Gore's invention. That's awesome. Stuff, the stuff. Banger bros. Bang bros. You can also <laughs> find great content at Aspirate.com. We update every Monday on Aspirate.com. No, it's just no, <laughs> They do. So indie double I I N D I I dot TV and it's Hollywood Bats. Hollywood Bats is Hollywood the, Bats. what we have up right there. And it's very important that if you like Hollywood Bats. Uh, that you go there, you watch, you support Hollywood Bats so that we then create more Hollywood Bats. Where can possible. they send the money to? Uh, you could send the money directly to me. Okay. You can email me on the side, don't worry about these guys. Yeah. <laughs> and you send the money right to me, and before you know it, a big booty girl will be in my living room. <laughs> with, with, with Batman? With Batman, Ooh. who is already in my living room. You tear it up. I think you would. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Or do you think he's like one of these premature guys? Like he's just so I, You know what? It, you know, like, like I said, Batman is probably on a litany of like psychotic medications. Yeah. So there might be some sexual side effects. Manic depressive bipolar. Manic depressive bipolar. Oh. We're talking Celexa, Paxil, Lexapro. <laughs> Seroquel. Xanax. Oh, oh. That, that one I've never heard of. Yeah, Seroquel. You're on the hardcore shit, aren't you? Huh? It's tough to deal sometimes, right? Oh, lithium, Halidol. Oh, hoo hoo hoo. I get the shakes if I don't have a drink, so I, you know mm. I gotta take something in the morning. Right, I'm with you, bro. Yeah, my my wife works at a jail, so she sees a lot of sight. <laughs> okay, so stay, keep your nose out. <laughs> gotcha. All right, man. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. And thanks to the uh, Asian and the Swiss guy, and uh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> and uh, we'll be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. for another show of Eagaders Live. Take us away. I think it's all looking pretty good. Right? Yeah, it's spinny. Like, that's kind of what I see when I drink too much right there. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got the logo and everything. Yeah, we're, dr- we're branded. I love it. And branded. orange cups. Yeah, man. <laughs>